didn't think I'd be still alive to see the day that there was going to be an actual Indigenous tennis carnival. And so this is even more than that. It's about um, education, it's about culture, it's about health, uh, it's got everything. This year, this being the second year, oh my God, it's just sort of grown and uh, I think we've all grown with it. And then off the court, I mean, we saw the great engagement in the Jukimala dance workshop, which was fantastic, and, and then the off court cultural activities, which have been off site this year, have been really popular. So um, look, we really hope to in explore that further and, and continue to grow and um, provide great opportunities for the kids. Not many people in Australia know that are about Indigenous culture and the events like this can pretty much share that to the rest of the country and not just this country, also the wide world and it's such an important thing to do. Mm. I'm speechless to be honest. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to get it this year, um, but to be awarded it again is yeah, it's a, an amazing feeling, and I'm yeah, feeling truly honoured. Oh, I feel honoured. Second year back uh, last year, runners up, so I was pretty disappointed and wanted to come back firing this year. To, got the job done this year, so I'm pretty happy with that. If we can make this fun and, and kids go away and go, oh, I, I play tennis, you know, but really what, what they experienced was all the fun stuff, you know, Chukimala and Yurumul last night and all the cultural activities. And then and tennis is only small. At the end of the day, they go home and tell everyone they play tennis, you know, only because of the fun experience they had. Yeah.